My name is Shubham Agarwal and I'm a data science intern at Avishka Tech Solutions. As a as a part of the internship, I was asked to deploy a machine learning project on forest fire prediction, which predicts the burned area as per the given data set or the values of features in the data set like X, Y, month, day and the uh, some values like FMC, DMC, ISI, DC, temperature, rain, wind and rain and I have to predict the burned area in hectares. So what I did is first imported the required libraries and the data set and I used .head.describe and .info to describe my data set properly so that I can get a clear idea about my data set. Then I checked for the none values here for every other feature it was false and so I left how it was earlier and the next I checked or to visualize the data properly so that I can get a clear idea so here I counted the frequency of the day and the month here so that I can get idea about the data set or the frequency at which day the fire was highest or in which month the fire was highest then I drew a correlation matrix which defines the relation between the features of the data set and the next step was to reform the data set because as you can see here the month and the day were an object so we cannot use them directly as in our model of uh, evaluation of fitting the model so we created a dictionary and we created a corresponding key value sphere like for every month I'm defining a corresponding integer to define that particular object or month I did same with the day and I uh, defined x and y variable x defines the number of features or not the number of features but the features that are in data set and why define the target value and I use the test train split to split the data set into two parts the first will be the training part and the second will be the testing part and as a model selection I use three models linear regression, random forest regression and decision regression and in regression models we check the R square values so for linear regression the R square value is minus was minus 18 and for random forest regression it was minus 7 and for decision tree it was minus 1.24 then uh, being the least value least negative value in the decision tree so I use the decision tree to predict the corresponding values like I did in this cell and I got my answer as 2.81 in hectares then I created a pickle file so that uh, I can use it in the deployment so here is my HTML file here I use bootstrap for it to as a front end part and here is my form to particularly get a value and get a get a corresponding output in the burnt like burnt area. So I deployed it using the Django and and here is the command line to execute or run the server. So here is the front end which is the form we let us test for a particular data set. So here we can see we get our value as 2.817 which is the burned area in hectare as per these particular features. So this was my model and it will deploy it using Django. Thank you.